Let us look at an example of cost volume profit analysis where a company has multiple products. So the example at hand is that we need to determine the break even sales in the following case. Now break even sales means the sales in terms of revenues at which the entire cost has been recovered. So this company here has three products A, B and C. Now we have been provided with some information. So we have been given sales in terms of units which is 5000, 6000 and 4000 respectively. We have been given the unit selling price in rupees which is 10, 15 and 18. We also have the unit variable cost in terms of rupees which is 6, 4 and 13. And we have also been given the fixed cost which is 40,000 rupees. Now with this information we have to find out how much revenue should the company make in order to recover all the cost. So in this case you can consider this as the annual sales and the fixed cost can be considered as the annual fixed cost. So in case of sales with these number of units sold we may or may not have achieved the break even point. So we need to find out what is the break even point in terms of revenues. Now break even point is the point where the total revenue is equal to the total cost. Now total revenue is equal to the quantity sold multiplied by the unit selling price and total cost is equal to the fixed cost plus the variable cost. Now we can again substitute the variable cost with the formula which is number of units sold multiplied by the unit variable cost. So here let's bring the expressions with the variable which is Q on one side because Q is the break even quantity which needs to be sold in order to recover all the cost. So QP minus QC is equal to F or Q into bracket P minus C is equal to F or Q is equal to F divided by P minus C. So this is the break even point in terms of units. Now if you have to find out the break even point in terms of revenue, basically revenue is nothing but the multiplication of the number of units and the unit selling price. So we need to multiply the unit selling price on both the sides. So or Q into P is equal to F divided by P minus C multiplied by P or the break even point in terms of sales is equal to F into P and this expression here which is the unit selling price minus the unit variable cost. This is also known as the contribution margin or the unit contribution margin. So contribution margin is nothing but the amount which contributes towards the payment of the fixed cost till the break even point is achieved and after that it contributes towards profits. So this is the formula for the break even point when we have one product. Now in our case we have three products A, B and C. So each of these products has a different number of units sold, different unit selling price and different unit variable cost. So if we have to find out the break even sales, we know the fixed cost 
which is 40,000 rupees which is independent of the products being produced now we have to find out the unit contribution margin now this unit contribution margin needs to be found out for this example in such a way that when that unit contribution margin is multiplied by the total quantity that is Q you get the total contribution margin so what this means is that this is nothing but the weighted average contribution margin so let's find out the weighted average contribution margin so in this case the average contribution margin will be nothing but the addition of the multiplication of individual contribution margin so for product a the unit contribution margin is 10 minus 6 which is 4 and the total contribution margin for a will be 4 multiplied by the number of units sold which is 5000 plus for b the unit contribution margin is 15 minus 4 which is 11 and we have to multiply this by the number of units sold which is 6000 plus the unit contribution margin for C is 18 minus 13 which is 5 and this multiplied by the number of units sold which is 4000 and this will be divided by the total number of units sold which is 5000 plus 6000 plus 4000 so 5 plus 6 is 11 and 11 plus 4 is 15 so 15 thousand now this is equal to 5 fours are 20 so 20 thousand plus 11 six are 66 so 66 thousand plus 5 fours are 20 so 20 thousand divided by 15 thousand so this is equal to now 20 plus 20 is 40 40 plus 60 is 100, 100 plus 6 is 106. So this is 106,000 divided by 15,000. So we can cancel these three zeros. So this is equal to 106 divided by 15. Now this is nothing but the weighted average contribution margin, which is nothing but the unit contribution margin. So Another way of looking at this unit contribution margin is that if we multiply this number with the total sales which is nothing but 15,000 then what we'll get is 106 divided by 15 multiplied by 15,000 so this will be equal to this gets cancelled by 1000 106 zero, zero, zero and if we look at this contribution margin which is the overall contribution margin in a different way that is we calculate the total contribution margin for each product a b and c and add them we basically get this expression which is 4 multiplied by 5000 plus 11 multiplied by 6000 plus 5 multiplied by 4000 and if you add this you will get the same amount which is 106000 so this figure here represents the average contribution margin per unit. So now we have found out the unit contribution margin. Now we need to find out the selling price. That is the unit selling price. So again in this case we have the unit selling price which is different for each product. However for this formula we have to find out the unit selling price in a way such that if we multiply that one single unit selling price with the total number of units sold we get the total revenue so what we'll do is we'll find out the weighted average selling price so 
the unit unit selling price will be equal to so first we'll find out the total sales for each product and then add them and divide by the total number of units sold so the first one the unit selling price is 10 so 10 multiplied by the number of units sold which is 5000 plus 15 multiplied by 6000 plus 18 multiplied by 4000 and this divide by the total number of units sold which is 5000 plus 6000 plus 4000 which is nothing but 15000. So this is equal to 50,000 plus 15 six are 90,000. This is 50,000 plus 18 four are 72. So 72,000 divided by 15,000. So this is equal to 50,000 plus 90,000 plus 72,000 which is equal to 212,000 divided by 15,000 and this is equal to we can cut these three zeros so 212 divided by 15 so we got the weighted average unit selling price so now we have to substitute these values in this formula to find out the break even point in terms of sales so this is equal to f which is 40000 so 40000 multiplied by p which is the unit selling price which is 212 divided by 15 so 212 divided by 15 and this whole divided by the unit contribution margin which is 106 divided by 15 so let me clear some space here to do the calculations so let's bring this forward here so BEP is equal to 40,000 multiplied by so we'll have this 212 in the numerator so 212 multiplied by so here we have 106 divided by 15 so this 15 can come on the numerator so this becomes 15 and then divide by so first we'll put the denominator for 212 which was 15 15 multiplied by the numerator of the, the expression in the original denominator which is 106 106 so this is equal to now 15 gets cancelled with 15 so let me put my calculator here so 40,000 multiplied by 212 divided by 106 which is 80,000 so break even point in terms of sales is at 80,000 rupees so basically what this means is that once the sales of 80,000 rupees has been achieved the cost have been recovered and the company will start making profits